If you want to export animated GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call it, from After Effects or from even Adobe Premiere Pro, you can now do it through the Adobe Media Encoder. So here I have this graphic for our Digital Marketing Masterclass. If I want to export this as an animated GIF, just go up to Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. That's going to open it up in Media Encoder CC. I already have the preset selected, but if you want to choose the animated GIF preset, just type in GIF up here or look under image sequence under GIF. If you have this animated GIF preset, then just drag that preset over here to your queue on top of this preset over here or whatever is there already. And now it's going to animate or export as that. One thing you'll have to do though is click on the preset right here, these settings, just click right there to open up your export settings because if you don't change the quality and the size, it's going to be a huge file. And if you're going to be uploading online, you'll wanna make it a lot smaller. So play around with it. I was finding that quality of 20 is pretty good and then making it a lot smaller. You know, typically 500 or 1000 is probably pretty good for uploading online. Clicking OK and then choosing your output file destination. Let's just put it on my desktop, then press the play button to start the queue and export through Adobe Media Encoder. So if you're watching this in my After Effects course, I will show you a way to export an animated GIF in the previous versions of Creative Cloud, which you actually had to do through Photoshop. But if you do have the CC 2018 update, you have this available to you. So now if I go to my desktop, and this is a little big because that's bigger than 500 pixels. But if I open this up, now we have this nice animated GIF that we can upload online. It's only 1.2 megabytes, so that's pretty a pretty good size for uploading online. Cool, so that's how you export animated GIFs right within all of your Adobe software. So good for Adobe After Effects or even Premiere Pro. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in another lesson.